When Apple announced their new 2018 flagship phones, they actually didn't spend too much time talking about the new cameras, but there was a brief mention of a term. Expanded Dynamic Range I was intrigued by this, so when I looked into this further, I found that the Expanded Dynamic Range was something available at 4K 30 frames per second, but not 60 frames per second. I have a Tennis Max of my own now, so I thought it would be a good idea to compare and see what kind of difference is actually visible, because generally I prefer the 60 frame per second mode for a couple of reasons that I might make another video on later. So here we are, looking at the same scene side by side. 4K 60 is on top, and 4K 30 on the bottom. Immediately, we can see quite a big difference in the highlights of the video. The areas that are in bright sunlight are overexposed, and in some areas even completely blown out, like on the library at the left. Punching in closer, we can really see the difference on the building's facade. The 4K 30 mode does a really good job preserving the highlights. This is a result of the iPhone's computational photography and allows it to do, with a tiny sensor, something large sensors can't do. We'd need to shoot this scene in a log type of profile to get these results with an APS-C or even a full frame camera. So while this is not HDR or HLG like you can find on Sony's latest flagship, this genuinely is expanded dynamic range and it does offer a noticeable advantage over previous generations and some competing phones. It's also useful because unlike HDR, it will show perfectly on any display, not just those that are HDR compatible. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, I got a lot more videos coming up.